It will be a bittersweet weekend in Williamsburg when a sellout crowd jams Zabel Stadium to say goodbye to one of the most successful college football coaches of all time, Jimmy Laycock. I'm Bruce Rader. Welcome to the Sports Trap Live on this Tuesday night. William and Mary and Richmond have closed out their respective regular seasons against each other for years, but Saturday's game will be a special one. Jimmy Laycock, the longest tenured coach in Division I football, turned the William and Mary football program around when he came to the colonial capital almost four decades ago, putting together 24 winning seasons five conference champions while making 10 trips to the playoffs. By this time next week, he will be three days into retirement, and we begin our goodbye with Nathan Epstein in Williamsburg. September 6, 1980, a then 31-year-old Jimmy Laycock, the youngest coach in Division I, led his William & Mary team onto the field for the very first time. 39 seasons later, the man who built this program from the ground up will march out of that tunnel at Zabel Stadium for one final game. I really don't know what it what it will feel like. Uh, you know, hopefully it'll be just like a another big game. His last game or not, it's still all business for the second winningest active coach in college football. You know, that's one of the things in coaching that you, you strive to do is stay focused. And I talk to our players about it all the time, so that's what I'm attempting to do too. I'm sure it'll be tough for coach. Um, he's going to have a lot of ex-players coming back, a lot of you know, people you know, that he's come in contact through his career, come back to support him. Through 450 games, Laycock's built a program that's won 249 times. But he's also mentored players and coaches who've made it all the way to the top level, like Super Bowl champion Steelers coach and Tribe alum Mike Tomlin. You know, I've known that guy since I was 17 years old. So um, I love him on a personal level, professionally. Uh, I admire him, I always have. His teams have won five conference titles and come close to national titles, but what does he feel his legacy will be? That's not for me to say what it, what it is. That's for other people to determine what it wants to be. But I just hope we, you know, they, we ran a good program, we did it the right way. His players are determined to send him off with a win. Just to, to be a part of you know, something that's obviously spanned many generations um, and you know, touched so many players and people uh, to be you know, on his last ride has been an honor. There's been no time for big picture reflection just yet, but don't be surprised if Coach Laycock doesn't let the moment sink in against the Spiders. I think y'all know me well enough that I don't hide stuff. I mean, I'm going to tell you what it is and tell you how I feel and whatever like that. And it very well could. I mean, it very well could. One last kickoff, 2 o'clock on Saturday. In Williamsburg, I'm Nathan Epstein for the Sport Track.